Papa Junior. I'm coming for you. What's the verdict? Congratulations, you're pregnant. The dark forces, it was only a nightmare. A cruel, blood curdling nightmare. <sighs> Not you again. Baba! Oh. oh, then it's true. I'm pregnant with the spawn of Julian Crane. I'm pregnant with the spawn of Julian Crane. I'm pregnant with the spawn of Julian Crane. <laughs> I know exactly. <laughs> I share your contempt for the institution of marriage, Father. It's nothing but a pathetic piece of performance art staged by fools for fools. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean you're not going to Sheridan's wedding this evening? If I have to go... Yes. Well, I can't say I blame you. You know, there is an upside to all of this, though. Sheridan is marrying Antonio instead of Luis, and Luis is marrying... In... What's a... You know, that spiky-haired girl who runs the book cafe. And knowing him and his pedestrian middle-class values, we have nothing to worry about now, because once he ties the knot, he'll never divorce the shop girl to marry Sheridan. It seems we've finally succeeded in tearing Luis and Sheridan apart. Forever. <laughs> Honey, I hope Liz is okay. I mean, maybe we should have waited for her. She made her way to Harmony from a remote island off Bermuda. I think she'll be fine. <laughs> Yeah, I guess you're right, but sometimes I worry about her. I mean, she's been through so much lately. And with her sister living right here in the Harmony, I mean, I would hate to think what would happen if those two were to me. I mean, suppose this is someone that we know. I mean, maybe even invited to the wedding. I have no idea. Well, I would like to know who treated her so badly, because I want to keep her away from you and the girls. Daddy, have you seen Chad? Oh, sweetheart. But we'll save Liz and Chad a seat with us. Okay, well, I'm gonna go look for him. All right. Okay. Wonder what happened to Whitney. should give to be able to walk in that church with you on my arm? Someday we will, Chad. Just not yet, you know? I mean, it would just be bad if Simone and my dad caught us. I know, I know, a bad scene. I just hope we don't have to wait too much longer. be the most handsome groom I have ever seen. Well, now I bet you said that to all your brothers before they get married. <laughs> it's okay. I'm fine. You're right. I do. But that's because I've got the cutest brothers in the entire world. Hey, has um, anyone seen Beth yet? I can't believe she asked me to be her matron of honor. Don't you think you're in a state of shock? I am a confirmed bachelor who is about to commit the big M. Having second thoughts, are you? No, about marrying Sheridan. I may have lost my eyesight, but I have not lost my mind. You know, Teresa, I'm sorry about you and Ethan. I'm sorry about Miguel and Charity. Well, we haven't given up, have we? See, I still believe that when two people are meant to be together, nothing will keep it from happening. You're not going to get an argument from me. Sheridan and I are living proof of that. Don't make the biggest mistake of your life without being extra certain, Sheridan. This is way too important not to know for sure. <sighs> Look, if you marry Antonio, you will lose Luis forever. And you've said it yourself. Once he marries Beth, he won't break his commitment. 
So if you are ever going to right this wrong, you have to do it now, before it's too late, before the ceremony. You have to go to Louise. I was just with Louise. If he didn't want to marry Beth tonight, he would have said something. No, Gwen, he's made his decision. What is wrong with you? You are about to make the most important step of your entire life, and you're not going to do everything in your power to make sure you marry the right man. Sheridan, what do you have to lose by going to Luis one more time and telling him how you feel? It could change everything. You're right. You're right. I've got to tell him. Luis, I know what kind of guy you are. When you take those marriage vows, you'll never get a divorce. The old man's got to honor his commitments, Hank. That's why you've got to be damn sure about what you're doing here tonight. Can you honestly tell me that you're ready to give up on Sheridan forever? No. I would hold the hand of the one who could leave me places And kiss the lips of the one who could sing so David, you're practically dashing. What do you want, Ivy? You know, I don't know what Grace sees in you. You are such a sourpuss sometimes. Cheer up. We're on the verge of getting everything we ever wanted. You know, just because I care deeply for Grace doesn't mean I don't loathe your tactics. Yes, well, you will learn to love them when you have Grace all to yourself. Now you know what to do, don't you? Go comfort her. In all the ways that she thinks Sam isn't right now. Go console her about that wretched daughter of hers, Kay. Show her that she's not all alone in the world. Just as I'm going to show Sam that he's not all alone. Oh, oh. This New Year's is off to a marvelous start. Who knows, by next year, we could be having our own double wedding. I, I don't see John or David yet, so I want to save him a seat. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I, I'm going to be fine. I really want to be here for Pilar and the family. It's going to be rough seeing Miguel at first, but um, I have to get used to it. Yeah, I guess you do. Hey, Daddy. Can I sit with you? Of course, sweetheart. Thank you. May I show you to your seats? Yes. Please. Follow me. Thank you. I don't want to let you go. I don't want to either. But we better hurry up and get back inside. My family's gonna be wondering where I am, you know? Yeah. I'll be thinking about you when I watch the brides walk down that aisle. Really? You better believe it. I mean, I can't wait until the day when it's you taking that long walk down that aisle toward me. I love you so much. Not as much as I love you. Antonio, I'm so glad I'm not late. Oh, Liz, I'm glad you're here. Me too. Hello, Pilar. Teresa. Hello. Hi, Liz. You look lovely. I wish you could see her, Antonio. Oh, no, no. That's okay. I already know that she looks beautiful always. Excuse us. Well, I don't think I've ever seen a more handsome groom. <laughs> Sheridan's a very lucky woman. No, no, no. I'm the lucky one. 
You know what, Antonio? I wish you all the happiness in the world. Thank you, Liz. That means a lot. You know, you'll always have a special place in my heart. I'll never forget those times we shared together. Neither will I. I just hope that one day you'll find the kind of joy and contentment that I found with Sheridan. You deserve only the best, Liz. Uh, is my sister still here? Teresa? Oh, yes. What can I do for you? I was wondering if you could help me find Father Lonigan. There's a couple things I want to go over with him before the wedding. Of course. Thank Come you. with me. Hmm. You still love him, don't you? Very much. That's why I want him to be happy. And if Sheridan makes him happy, then so be it. I'll never stop loving Sheridan. She owns my heart. Then don't marry Beth without doing everything you can to straighten things out with, with Sheridan. That's not fair to any of you. Sheridan already made her decision, Hank. But we promised each other that if the other person didn't show up, that we would agree with their decision. No, no blame, no hard feelings. Sheridan didn't show up at the judge's office, so she made her decision. I, I can't go to her now and, and pressure her about it. Well, Louise, you no, have Hank, there's, there's nothing I can do. Sheridan made her decision. I have to learn to accept that. You know, she, she's going to marry my brother. loves him and, and you know I, I love Beth it's just maybe it's different if we're gonna be happy together I made a commitment to Beth and I have to honor it we're gonna be happy you'll see you're right I have got to go to Louise before it's too late I've got to try one more time I'll just ask him why he didn't come to the judge's office last night and maybe if I tell him that I love him too much to marry Antonio, then he won't go through with marrying Beth. Go, go. You still have time before the processional begins. Oh, Gwen, thank you. Oh. Thank you so much for making me realize that I've got to do everything I can to put a stop to this wedding. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. You look so beautiful. Thank you. Antonio is a lucky man. But I guess we're the lucky ones, right? Marrying these two amazing brothers. You know, sometimes I just can't believe Luis is finally going to be my husband after all these years. Well, you know what he's like. So loving and sweet and romantic. You should have seen how he surprised me last night. Oh, we had the most incredible evening together. Last night? <sighs> Yeah, oh, I know, I know. The bride and groom aren't supposed to be together in the night before the wedding, but Louise had something so special planned. I just couldn't, well, I didn't mind breaking tradition just to be with him. But I guess you feel the same way about being with Antonio. <laughs> Oh, it's almost time, brides to be. <gasps> You're not ready. Well, I'll just slip into my gown. <laughs> Shake a leg then. Okay. <sighs> oh, and you, dear. Are you all set to walk down the aisle? Yes. Yes, I'm ready. During the first few months of your little one's life, a full night's sleep is all but impossible. He or she will be hungry every two to four hours, as well as needing his little diaper changed frequently. Diapers, colic, teething. I'm too old for all this nonsense. I need my rest. I don't want some drooling infants spitting up all over my beautiful things. I can't do this. I don't want this baby. Oh. Oh, I think I'm going to be sick. 
I'm telling you, Luis's involvement with Sheridan is over the moment that he... He marries that, uh, God, Beth girl. Yeah. He'll never get a divorce, even with that atrocious mother-in-law of his. Let's just hope he has the smarts to buy plastic seat covers for all the furniture. Uh, uh, trust me, Father, it's a story you, you really don't want to hear. In any case, tonight's weddings mean that Luis will never gain access to a family secret. He'll never know for sure what really happened to his papa. Well, Antonio? No. Well, it's not a problem. He'll drop dead before he has a chance to tell anyone why he really skipped town all those years ago. We're safe, Father. I will give you a report in the morning. I should have known you'd be watching. Well? How do I look, Pookie? Oh, as ravishing as ever, my pet. I must say, I'm a bit surprised you're in such high spirits about this farce of a double wedding. Why are you going, anyway? Well, if the information that I'm seeking comes back to me the way I think it will, I'm going to have the goods on Teresa. And that is going to be my New Year's present to you, my pookie. It'll be out with the old wife and in with the new. What are for your thoughts? <laughs> I thought it was supposed to be a penny. Oh, I'm a crane. We don't do anything small. Seriously, what were you thinking just then? Oh. It's none of your business. Oh, I thought we were closer than that. You did. You're wrong. Well, then I'll just hold on to this until we are then. to be like the freshest guy I've ever met, Fox. Well, because I'm not embarrassed to admire a beautiful woman? You gotta know you're the hottest looking bridesmaid to ever set foot in a church. Thanks. I think. Now I know why brides always pick out ugly dresses for their attendants. They don't want to share the spotlight on their big day. My Aunt Sheridan and that other bride, they better work extra hard or you're gonna steal all of their thunder tonight. I hardly think so. They're both very beautiful. You ask me, they don't hold a candle to you. You are such a flirt. Just tell them like I see it, gorgeous. Thanks for coming with me, darling. I, I hate arriving at these things alone. It's my pleasure, Mother. Besides, Gwen had to come early to help Sheridan out. I hope she's all right. She still loves Louise so much. Mm, that poor thing. I know firsthand what it's like to marry someone when your heart is somewhere else. <laughs> I can't believe I'm letting you talk to me this way. <laughs> girl has no shame. Look, if, if you'd rather have another usher seat you, I can... No. Sorry. You may have his baby, but you'll never have his heart, Kay. Never. We'll have his last name, Jessica. That's a start. Mm. Okay. I was hoping you and I could start off with a clean slate. But we're going to talk after this wedding. Whatever, Mom. Laura. So where's Antonio? <clears throat> he wanted to have a word with Father Lonigan before the ceremony. You know, I, I think this wedding is a little hard on your friend. My friend? Liz, your house guest. She has such a beautiful smile, but you can see the sadness behind it. I think it's very hard for her to watch Antonio marry Sheridan. Yes, I suppose it is. Such a shame. It sounds as though 
Her lonely life is all the fault of her unfeeling sister. You know, the one who hurt her so badly? I don't know. Perhaps one day she'll meet someone who will love her as much as she needs to be loved. Oh, excuse me. I need to say hello to Mrs. Roush. I don't suppose you saved a seat for me with you and TC. Do you know that I was just talking to Pilar and she was telling me what a wonderful person that she thinks you are? If only she knew the real you. Oh, well, I would be glad to tell her and everyone else here all about me. But then, of course, that would mean that I would have to tell them all about you, too. Is that what you want, Eve? If so, I can handle that right now. Liz, he said that you would make it our time. Hey, we saved your seat over here with the family. Oh, T.C., thank you. That is so sweet. me. At least mortal women usually only up chuck in the mornings. With witches, it can last all day, all night. Oh, I can't live like this. I have misery and mayhem to attend to. Now what? Take it back. I don't want it here. Did you hear me? I don't want this dratted thing in my living room, so please take it away right this instant. What's this? A note? For me? Princess will be a wonderful mother. Take it from someone who knows. Love always, Timmy. You were here to help me through all this. What do you know? 
They're real. I'm surprised they didn't decorate the church with pinatas. <laughs> Probably saving that for the reception. Life so lonely and boring without you. And as for that crack Connie and that demented Cecil, oh, they're a mockery of what a real doll ought to be. Not fit to shine your tiny wee shoes. <laughs> the laughs we shared. And come to think of it, the challenges we tackled. Oh, we had our little dust-ups, but we always made up over our martinis later. <laughs> Who'd have ever thought I'd love living with someone so much? Right. The baby. Do you really think I could manage it? Yeah. I'm hardly the maternal type, you know. Still, you have such confidence in me. Maybe I could give it a try. I know you hate a quitter. If you were here, you'd buck me up. But you're not here, so I'll just have to buck myself up. I... I could learn what I need to know to take care of a little one. Late night feedings, walks in the park, diaper changes. I'll even go to one of those dreadful mommy and me classes if I must. But I'll tell you one thing. If I start looking up recipes for tomato soup, cake, and the like, said you have my permission, uh, uh, my order, to strike me down with a bolt of lightning. I mean, even I have to draw the line somewhere. All right. I'll give it a go. I'll try and be glad about this baby. I, Tabitha Lennox, I'm going to be a mommy. <laughs> and a damn good one at that. God, what is Louise doing? He still loves Sheridan. I don't think he's going to go through with marrying Beth. Doesn't Sheridan look radiant? It must be because she's so happy. So in love with your brother. You know, when we were in the bride's room getting dressed, she told me the most... A romantic story about her and Antonio last night. Last night? Uh-huh. She went on and on about how sure she is 
about becoming his wife and how she's grown to love him so much. What are you waiting for? Put a stop to this. No. Sheridan made her choice and she's gonna marry Antonio. Crocodile baby in an old sock. When the wind howls, your cradle will rot. I think that's how it goes. Oh, well, anyway. <laughs> There's plenty of time to learn all the right words. <laughs> so much to do before the wee one arrives. Oh, I did pretty well looking after Timmy. Oh, I don't see why I shouldn't do it again. Come to think of it. Timmy turned out so well in spite of me. Not because of me or anything I taught him. What if... my... offspring isn't as innately good as Timmy was? What if my child is truly the spirit Born of my bride's almost here, isn't she, Louise? Maybe Miguel should tell you. Oh, come on, I want you to tell me. She's beautiful. I knew it. I love her so much, Louise. I know you'd understand, because it's the same way you feel about that. I don't believe it. That wretched daughter may pull this off yet. Heavenly Father, please do not let anything go wrong. Are we all here? Yes, Father. Please be seated. Tonight is a very important night. Not only because we are starting a brand new year, but because two couples are beginning brand new lives together as man and wife. Sheridan and Antonio, Beth and Luis. New Year is a time of promise, of new beginnings for each and every one of us. I would like to have us all take a moment of reflection to think about all of our individual hopes and our resolutions for this coming year. I'll make this up to you, Charity. I'm gonna find a way to show you that my love for you is strong enough to overcome every obstacle in our way. All I ever wanted was you, Miguel. Without you, there's nothing else I want. Well, I broke him up. Now all I have to do is get Miguel to marry me. The next wedding in this church will be ours. I want peace in my family again. I want to find the love Grace and I always held so strongly between us. My New Year's resolution is to win Sam back once and for all, at any cost. I hereby resolve to ruin my sister's life, just like she ruined mine. I vow to protect my family, to hold on to each and every one of them, no matter who tries to tear us apart. My resolution is to work hard at my tennis so that Chad and I can go public with our relationship this year. I'm going to 
to find a way to hold on to our love, Whitney. I will stop my sister from stealing Chad away from me. I resolve to do whatever it takes to make my husband forget Teresa. I won't let Fox hurt Teresa. Not because I still love her, but because Fox can't be trusted. I will do everything in my power to make Ethan see that he still loves me. I will get him back. I haven't decided whether it'll be Teresa or Whitney, but I'm going to get to know one of these beautiful women better. Much better. If Beth manages to marry Louise, I vow to make sure her life is a living hell. Ditch all of my wives, find myself a pretty new young thing with no messy entanglements. Oh, I'm sorry up there, I forgot where I was for a moment. I'm gonna get the goods on you, Teresa. You are going down. I just pray that this year will bring happiness to all my children. They have suffered enough. Antonio and Sheridan, Luis and Beth, this is a particularly important night for the four of you. You are about to be joined in holy matrimony for the rest of your mortal lives. Are you ready? Absolutely, Father. Yes. Luis, Sheridan, I'm ready. I'm ready. Then let us begin. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, sweetheart. Come on, ain't you happy in the limo? One way to find out. Antonio, do you take this woman, Sheridan Crane? No! 